eat bananas, you say peppers. First of all, before we get into today's video, you guys have got to see my new dress. I'm about to film a fashion TikTok, but I wanted this to be like my beginning you know, my my beginning outfit. And this was custom made for me by Franklin J. It's like two vintage bed sheets to make one fantastic dress. It's very comfy, it's very cute. I think I might belt it for TikTok, but for right now, it's like loosey goosey, very comfy. Today, you guys, is finally episode one in a video that I have that I have feel like I have been that I feel like I've been talking about doing for like a year now. I have all of these like mystery things. Like some of them are boxes, some of them are bags, some of them are squishies, some of them are just like literally random things. Like what is this? It's called a lucky shell. We're gonna have to put it in water to open it up. But you guys probably get what I'm saying. I have over the years, sometimes it'll have just been like random PR. I'll just get like one random mystery item to unbox. So I feel like at the time, like I didn't have enough of one type of thing to make like a devoted video or sometimes like I was just at Walmart or Target and I would just think that like one of these like mystery items looked kind of cool. So that is what I have finally grouped together in this big giant box. And you guys, I honestly have more than this, but I thought I would like start opening some. So we literally have everything in here. We have Sunny Angel, we have Sailor Moon, we have Squishies. This is the very first thing that we're gonna open today, you guys, because this has been living in my office forever. And what is it? Mystery Vintage Swatch Watches. I swear I bought this forever ago with the intention of doing a, um, oh my gosh, where are my scissors? Scissors! Um, anyway, I swear that at one point in my life when this video concept was a trend, I went to Facebook and like bought every recommended ad that was recommended to me. And I think at the time, Swatch was selling mystery watches. And like I said, how many years ago did I buy this? I don't know. There are a lot of weird Swatch watches that I would love to have. Are they gonna be in here? I don't know, probably not. Cause they were like designer things. Like I think one was Jeremy Scott and it's supposed to be like X-ray goggles. And it's like two watches on one band and it looks like X-ray goggles. There's also like Vivian Westwood Swatch. It's got like cherubs on it. That would be amazing. What are we gonna get today? I literally don't know, but it's three. We have three. That's paper. We have three Swatch watches. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm living. This is like, okay, this is first of all, option number one. It's plain yellow. But oh, I take that back. It's not plain, you guys. It's glittery. Can you see? The glitter is very faint, but IRL, you can totally see it. Now, like I said, these have been in boxes now for years, so um, none of them are probably running. They all need batteries. And how vintage are they? I don't know. I wish they had like dates on them. Either way, it goes with my outfit today. Okay, give me, give me a minute. Quite apparently putting on watches, difficult for me. All right, watch number two. Um, and I literally gasped. This is adorable. It's pigs. Not only do I feel like I love this, Dogman is gonna love this, but look at these cute little pigs. It's pigs, I love it. Uh, and last but not least, um, this literally looks like a watch that um, I would buy for Dogman at the Swatch store. You guys, it's orange and the hands in there almost look blue. This is like, oh my God, you guys, he's gonna love this. Love it, absolutely love it. That was pretty cool. I don't know how much I paid for this. I don't know if they've ever done it again, but I almost smacked myself in the eye with them. Why don't we open this? little guy because this box honestly looks like it's seen better days but do you guys remember squishy mushy these look like they're gonna be breakfast options i don't know if they still make these or not but they were very cute when they did i feel like they were all different food 
themed items. I think like at one point we opened up like a large bento box and it had like some keychains and a larger squishy inside of it. So this is like a milk carton and it's very cute. I think that this is going to be a squishy keychain. What are you? Are you? Oh, it's that is very, very cute. So it's a little squishy blueberry yogurt keychain. Look at that. And I really like the color of the chain as well. Now, I think I'm going to actually have to like poke a hole in it. But look at that. I feel like this is one that you guys were asking me about forever. I feel like maybe I showed this in a haul at some point in time because I think I got this from, yeah, I got this from Toy Joy in Austin and I miss that place so much. That's where I used to get all of like my blind boxes IRL. So I feel like you guys were asking me about this in the comments at some point. So I don't know if I mentioned it or showed it and then just never opened it. This is Sailor Moon 20th anniversary. That can tell you guys how old this is. Night and day. And these look like cute little figures that, well, you know what? They look like they might come with a stand, but I've gotten a bunch of these before and you can sit them like on the side of little like bowls or cups. Let's open it up. Oh my gosh. I don't think it's like a further mystery. It's, oh, this one is adorable. Let's cut it open. So she actually hangs with her little hands. We have Princess SL Serenity is what the little plaque says. I thought that they all just said Sailor Moon, but no. Um, and look at how cute she is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So you can just display her like that, her little hands. Ta-da! And she looks like she's like peeking over the sign. That is so cute! You know what, this is kind of funny. Honestly, I think that what happened here is I was like doing a cheese quest and I think that I had taken the wrapper off of more balls than I could open for a TikTok. You guys, I still have some of these. I think it's a mixture of series two and 2.5 mini brands, but I still have a bunch of them that I never opened because I was doing like cheese quest, cheese quest, cheese quest. And uh, I thought, I don't know, I thought you guys would like get bored if I was like just making every video about trying to find some cheese mini brands. But wouldn't it be funny if like I took the wrapper off of this one and this one like had the cheese. Can you guys even imagine? So now we're putting one very old mini brand in there, which by the way, I just got my order uh, from Target today. I got more um, Disney shop, shop Disney. That sounds weird. Either way, I try and say it, but I got more of the Disney store. That's what it is. Um, I got more of the Disney store mini brands. I bought some series three food mini brands just for old times sake. And I bought some more fashion mini brands cause I just couldn't not. So, uh, oh my God, look at these wrappers. I feel like it's been so long since I've seen these. Okay, we have country time lemonade. Did you guys finish your whole series two mini brands? Series two, 2.5. We've got the Red Hot Frank's Red Hot Original Red Hot Sauce. We have, uh, what is behind door number three? Oh my God, the crushed red pepper. I still get flashbacks from opening these crushed red peppers. And what's next? Two sections left. We're gonna get the cheese. Well, we did. We got Velveeta shells and cheese, but alas, still no cheese wedge. You guys, I don't even know how it's like statistically possible that I have opened so many of these balls and never gotten the cheese wedge, but we finished it off with some gourmet garden chunky garlic stir in paste. I feel like this one was super common as well. But see, now I'm excited to like get all of them again because I don't think I've opened like a series two or 2.5 mini brand since I was like doing the cheese quest videos. Let's open 
one of these because I feel like I have a bunch and these look like they are gonna be very cute. I feel like we had a full size uh, candy corn squishy at some point, but these are little mini blind bag keychains. And I always like felt torn. I remember with like my squishy collections of like, if you get them like this, do you want to open them or do you want to leave them like a keychain? And I feel like that's why like I never opened them until now. There's six different designs to collect. Okay, so they show you five of the designs and then there's one mystery one. But we are gonna open it today. Oh my God, you guys. That's one of the things I miss the most about squishies is the smell. They just smell like so good. And I feel like each different design has a different smell. <laughs> so we got, I think that this is not the mystery one. I think that even though it looks kind of blue on the packaging, right? I don't know. Or do you guys think that this is the mystery one? I mean, there's not one that looks like extremely green here on the packaging. So maybe the green one is the mystery one. I don't know. Um, look at its little face. It's so cute. Let's squish it. Oh, ooh, very slow rising. Very satisfying. I'm about to sneeze, you guys. Oh. <sighs> anyway, um, Sylvanian families. I can't say that right. Uh, Sylv... <gasps> calico critters. What's the difference between a Sylvanian family and a calico critter? Sylvanian, what? Syl Sylvanian critters. Sylvanian families. I don't know, you guys. But these are cute little babies. And they're quite apparently cat cat calico critters. Um, so look at that baby shopping series. <laughs> So we've sent the babies out to get groceries, I suppose. They're all adorable. You guys, I recently discovered, I feel like it's cause um, a Swan family member tagged me. I think it was on Instagram, maybe on TikTok. It's been a long time, so I don't quite remember. But there is like a calico critter or a Sylvanian family. Um, and it's, they call it a crocodile, but it looks like an alligator. And I kind of really want to order it, but I feel like it's been discontinued forever. And to buy like one single teeny tiny little fuzzy plastic critter, it's like $50 plus like $20 shipping from the UK. I actually had to cut that one open. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like, this is like a whole thing. We got this adorable little mouse. Oh my God. It is a mouse, right? I guess this is like to prevent people from like feeling the blind bags and discovering which one is in there. This is our cute little baby. It's a little baby mouse. I've also seen people like make necklaces and earrings out of these and I am so tempted. Quite apparently they sent this little baby. Is this one on here? <gasps> you guys, wow. We got the secret critter. I was trying to figure out its name, but its name is just secret critter. Look at that. So the secret critter is gone to get a pizza. There's like a little mouse on there and it's a pizza box. It says pizza. And then we have this teeny tiny little pizza and we have a little pizza sticker. I'm always nervous to put the stickers on. What if I put it on crooked? I actually did a pretty decent job with that one. So uh, let's put the tiny little pizza in the tiny little pizza box. This is a very large pizza box for a very tiny little baby, but they're so fuzzy and they're so cute. Let's open one of these. I literally do not know what this is. I don't know what it is. Squinkies do drops, mystery huts. That is, I thought I was grabbing a Zelf. Do you guys remember the Zelfs? Yeah, do you guys remember Squinkies Dewdrops? You get two Squinkies and one Dew inside. All right, um, let's see what these, this is a little cute worm. <gasps> and we have matching hair, look at that. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you look and like, bam, 
There's all your squinkies and doos. You guys, that was like a, a clown thing. They're kind of squishy. We've got a thing? An armadillo? Is it a dog? I don't know what this is. What is this? I mean, it's cute. It's got hair. But I, like, literally don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what that is. Wait, were these the ones that you could like put on a bracelet or something? Didn't they make like Disney ones and they were like kind of these squishy things and you could like make them into charms? Cause I'm seeing they all have these like things. <gasps> Focus, they all have these things on the backs of their heads. And this one is like a butterfly and it's very cute. What is this gonna be? Maybe this is our do. It's a... Uh, a do is a piece of hair. Oh my god. Okay, so you can give either of your critters like blonde. <laughs> okay, let's give. Oh my god. This is <laughs> an interesting choice. That I I don't know that that butterfly likes that hairstyle. That's kind of Interesting. Let's give it to the armadillo. Even though it already has hair. They already have hair. This is so... This is just so weird. This is definitely maybe one of the weirdest mystery things uh, we've ever seen here. Like, I just so many questions. No answers. Do I see a zelf? They might be like buried down here because I swear I like sprinkled some zelfs in here. Yes! <gasps> it is! Okay, um, I feel like this will be the last thing we've unboxed today. I was gonna try and do like seven or 10 each time. I don't know what I did because I opened three watches and one mystery brand, so. Mini brand. You guys, I keep saying everything wrong today. Oh my God. Okay, so the Zelfs. I miss these so much. So many of my friends used to give me Zelfs for my birthday because I love them. They were like, kind of like trolls. They had like troll hair, uh, but they were like really cool. They were like a bunch of like animals that were also, they looked like trolls. It's just, it's a, it's a whole thing. They, they're pretty cool. So we have these Zelf mushrooms and I swear these were like the ones that we opened like a million years ago but I think the mushrooms were a different color so ha um oh my god okay so this is adorable oh my god look at him he has like a little like vampire tooth and he's holding a lightning bolt see what I mean they're like trolls they have like troll hair but they are like you know, not, they don't, they don't look like trolls, but these were like pencil toppers. Very cute. I'll show you guys like the checklist. So maybe y'all can see what I mean. There's a Cupid one. This one is called Typhoon, which almost doesn't make any sense because the Typhoon is like, oh, cause like rain. For some reason I thought a Typhoon was like a water thing. So there's one that's like a panda, one that's like a bunny, one that's like a cupid, but they have, oh my gosh, so many cute ones. So see what I mean? They're like trolls and animals or plants. But yeah, I definitely do not think that Zelps exist anymore. You guys, this has a 2013 copyright on it. So that tells you maybe how old these are maybe how long I've had them. A very, very long time. That is it for today. I hope you guys are gonna be excited for this little like mini series. We're just gonna keep unboxing a bunch of random things in every video. Now that I've shown you guys like this water activated shell, we might do this next time. This is like so weird. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be a very, very soon. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!